Hi, this is Gary with Mac Mouse Now. On today's episode, let's look at two different ways you can use your iPad screen with your Mac. This episode of Mac Most Now is brought to you by Gazelle.com. Gazelle is the easiest, fastest way for you to sell or recycle your gadgets. Every item gets an offer and you get paid to be environmentally responsible. Use promo code MACMOST for a 5% bonus. Now you may already know how to do screen sharing between Macs, but you can also use your iPad to control the screen on your Mac. All you need is an app to do it. One app that I like to use is called iTap VNC. And using this, you can easily connect to a Mac that has screen sharing enabled in the system preferences. Using iTap VNC is fairly simple once you get it set up. Setting it up means setting up these bookmarks that link to a Mac that you want to connect to. So the bookmarks simply include the IP address and credentials for screen sharing on that Mac. Now you can use a local IP address or you could use a remote one if you have a public IP address for your Mac. You can connect to it from anywhere in the world. Once you have the bookmark set up, you just tap it and it will connect it to the Mac. Once it does, you can go and view the screen. Now you can zoom in and out by pinching as you would expect on the iPad. And you can also tap to simulate a click. I'm going to double tap to start Safari there from the dock. And then you could tap it, say, once in a field here, just as you would click. And there's the cursor. To bring up a keyboard, you use three fingers and swipe down and it brings up the keyboard. You can even use special command and control keys and the F keys as well. One of the reasons I like iTap VNC over the other apps is all the different gestures that they've incorporated because after all, it's a touch screen on your iPad, not a regular screen with a keyboard and a mouse. So it can be difficult to try to control a Mac using the iPad's touch screen. So they've incorporated all these gestures to make it very easy to click and know exactly what you're doing iTap VNC also works on the iPhone in the same way, just have a smaller screen. And there are also many other VNC apps that you can get from the iTunes App Store. Now another way you can see your Mac screen on your iPad is to use an app called Air Display. Now this is different than VNC. What it's actually going to do is create a second monitor virtually on your Mac. You're going to install some free software on your Mac to do that. And then you can connect your iPad over your Wi-Fi network to your Mac and that second virtual screen will display on your iPad. So it's basically like turning your iPad into a second monitor. So let's turn the iPad into a second monitor. So here I have my MacBook Pro and the first thing I need to do is turn on the air display which is a control here on the menu bar. Once I do it says no iPads found. I can fix that by running the air display app. Once I do, I can see that my iPad is now on the list. I select it and it will connect the two and turn the iPad into a second screen. So now I can move my cursor over between the two. I can launch an application. So I have a window and I could move it from my MacBook to my iPad. Now it's not the fastest screen because, well, it's sending all the video data through the Wi-Fi connection, not through a fast video cable. But it still does work. And matter of fact, you can even click on things on the iPad screen using your finger. And there it puts the cursor there and jumps to the page. Also, you can use the uh, display preferences to control the second screen just like it was a regular display. So you can see here I bring it up and it brings up the display preferences on both screens and I can even rearrange where the iPad screen is located to the left or to the right above or below. So there's a look at two ways that you can use your iPad as a screen on your Mac. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.